Hi, it's Wednesday, September 15th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. A little bit warm and muggy, but still a nice day. Everything's still green. I keep waiting for the trees to start, uh, the leaves start turning brown. We'll see it soon. No notes, no sense. By the way, Bill, thanks for subscribing. And Eric, it was good seeing you yesterday, the other day, not yesterday, the other day. And um, it, the, uh, today's video is we're going to be talking about Gavin Newsom winning, not winning, but really the Republicans losing in California and how that really shows where the Democrats should go forward now to get ready for 2022. But before we go forward, let's get back into our digital stream and get some music, okay? I got stuff. I got people writing to me. It just They just come directly to me. They don't put it online. Come on, you didn't have all that classical music. Come on, you wasn't forced to when you... Look. Beethoven Symphony Number no. 5 from George Salty, the Vienna Philharmonic, in stereophonic. I hear this and I go, I only see those old wool, those old wool suits. Well, they weren't old then, but those wool suits I had to wear to go to listen to this music. Mm, I got a lot of it. I can't believe how much I've got. But if you're in the classical, go for it. There's a lot of really good stuff there. If you like music, I'm with you. Let's go next to it. The Yardbirds, the first great guitar group of uh, of rock. They started off with Eric Clapton, but it wasn't bluesy enough for him, so he left, I believe, after their first release. And then they also had Jeff Beck and then Jimmy Page. You know, the um, Led Zeppelin was the new, were, were the new Yardbirds, and then they became uh, Led Zeppelin. But three of the greatest rock guitarists around. Jeff Beck went out. I put a couple of Jeff Beck stuff out there. Maybe I'll bring up some more later. And, of course, Jimmy Page. Just and an Eric Clapton. I've done some Eric Clapton, too. So... The Yardbirds get greatest hits. Definitely got to listen to it on digital stream. And then over here, I did some Yes or, uh, earlier, way back. My favorite Yes album is the Yes album. Uh, Fragile's really good, but there are those who say to me, and it really is a good album, Close to the Edge. This is really their last great album, in my opinion, because the group just started splitting all over the place after this. But if you're really into Yes, you should listen to those big three. The Yes album, Fragile, and then Close to the Edge. Just some really good music. I'm giving you some good digital stream here. Music soothes the, the, the savage beast. Let's go into what happened in California. This is really, as you know, it was a recall. Some weird uh, a way they do it in California. But they, they go in and the Republicans force this. They got enough signatures because they were convinced that they could get Gavin Newsom to have less than 50% and then have a minority candidate, minority voting candidate, in to become governor because you didn't have to, if the governor got less than 50, whoever the winner was underneath the governor became governor. It's a minority candidate. So they were convinced they could do it, and it looked for a little while like maybe they could, but it, they ended up shooting themselves in the foot. Why? Because they brought up a trumper. Larry Elder, and this is the Republicans' problem. This is where the Democrats have just got to be smart. It's go, you vote, you run against Trump. They ran against Trump in California. They didn't want a, Cal a Trump governor. That's Larry Elder. He would have been Trump. And that's why for the 2022 elections coming up, I'm, you're Democrats. You should be going, I'm just, I want every Trump candidate to win in the primaries and then call all of them. Trumpers don't go too far on the other side, but you have to get too extreme uh, a left, but you can get pretty, pretty liberal. Okay, at the same time, I say Trumper. I'm, I'm use. I'm saying it because the the Republican Party, those politicians who are successful, are afraid of coming out against Trump, so they really do come out for him. Chris Christie the other day wouldn't even mention his name. It's, it's just something, if, if the Republicans want to run on Trump, hang in on them and go with it. And I hope these Trumpers win in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the primaries. Look at Herschel Walker in Georgia. He's a carpetbagger. He doesn't live in Georgia. He's just running back. So you, it's because he's Trump. So as we focus in on these, as Democrats focus in, that should be your main focus. The Republican Party is the Trump Party. We don't want the, Repu the Trumps running Congress. And you go forward with that. That's where the Democrats should be going. Just my two cents, and I'm not getting paid to be a consultant. It's just 
to me, a little bit obvious. Either way, listen to the music, love the politics, rock and roll. Peace.